Fighting fires and responding to emergency situations takes a special kind of person. While many departments are facing a shortage of volunteers, one department has some pretty inspiring ones. Scott Maddows explains what makes their story so special. Fighting fire is without doubt a male-dominated field. But right here in central Pennsylvania, there's an exception to the rule. I'm a freshman. Molly is just 16 years old, and her partners in fire, as they go by the three amigos, are only 17 and juniors in high school in Boswell. How did this happen? Um, well, girl power, I guess. You have to be a team. Everybody has to work together to have one goal in mind. And what's that goal? That goal is to get the fire out and have everybody safe. When I first saw the trio, it was here in Hooversville. Earlier this year, as flames tore through a historic church. And all of our pagers went off on our phone. So that was my first fire I've ever been on. The high schoolers were in class one minute, then rushing to the fire station the very next. The girls can't yet enter burning buildings, but that's about the only thing they can't legally do. The fast pace of everything, I like that. Just when the tones drop, you run. I have my legs and I can go in and I can walk around and I, I can still breathe. I can do all these things that I have a purpose. And as you can imagine, seeing catastrophe and tragedy consistently at such a young age takes its toll. I have seen accidents that people don't make it. I've seen calls where we get there, they're alive, but they're not when we leave. And that's definitely hard to take in because you try to do everything you can to save every life possible. But it's on the flip side for each of these young ladies. At their core, they're volunteers willing to sacrifice their own lives to save another. I'd love to do this for the rest of my life. These unlikely friends and even more unlikely heroes know that being a part of this special brotherhood, in Boswell anyways, includes the sanctity of sisters.